Guess nobody's here. So that was weird. Not exactly sure what Chaos is up to. Never know what that guy's up to. He's definitely in possession of some knowledge that we just don't have, and he's not really willing to share. So we got a backstory here for Sharankov, though. Who the hell is that guy? So you're the Am I supposed to know who that I is? Trust this will work correctly. But why? It looks very similar to something that Xion had. Was, isn't that the, the name of the connection gear? Isn't that what that was? The half the the half the PlayStation controller. How many buttons can my one thumb do? Now we're back on board the Wakanda. Everybody down on the floor. This facility is now under control of the UTIC organization. Any resistance whatsoever will be met with deadly force. How long ago was this? So don't even think about trying anything. As long as you follow our orders, you will not be harmed. We appreciate your cooperation. So he had one of the controllers that that controls Cosmos. How did he get one of those? Is that what the guy gave him? Who the hell is that guy? Oh, this is this is an old Cosmos. It doesn't look fully functional yet at all. Oh, this one's went full horror movie mode. What, what do you do against something like that? Just hope it's on your side, I guess. How did Cherenkov make it out of this? Is that going to be enough? No. No, not for Cosmos. Cosmos does not care. What the hell is that? Took out the whole ship. Holy crap. Wow. Is this is this the same archetype from before? I'd be scared to death of that thing too if I was you. Holy crap, she did that? <laughs> I don't think that's going to do much. Sure, give it a shot. See what it does for you. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have done anything anyway, Cherenkov. What the hell's your problem? Cosmos is better than you. Just hope that she doesn't turn on you. You doing okay? I don't think that kind of shaking is normal. I don't think that's just nerves. It's causing them to shake. Might be something else going on there. 
And all that happened in the space of Xion going down the elevator. So, let's head north here. I can use the vaporizer, just for whatever reason, not on the, the regular floor. There's an ether pack in there. I will definitely take that. And we can... Is this... No. That's the cargo elevator. I can't do anything with that. But there's another email for Xion, once again, required. Can't do anything about this one. We appreciate your cooperation in the search. But there's something I should tell you first. In approximately 1,200 seconds, the AI in question will be completed. That's right. The time allocated to the search has already started. And there isn't much time remaining. I don't believe I mentioned this to you in my previous email. I apologize for leaving out details. Well, then I'd like to briefly explain the search that is about to begin. We'll continue monitoring Mercury around the clock. We know what time the invasion is supposed to take place, but are taking extra precautions. We'll send you an email once we confirm that the intruder has made access. Use your AI to identify the intruder's access node. Give me the approximate location if you cannot clearly identify it. We'll dispatch our investigators in those specific locations. That way we can restrict the culprit and close in on them. So there, we're still trying to get the hacker. This is only something that you can get if you responded that you would help, of course, um, which was like email six, I think it was. But that is required should you have gotten that. So that is number 17. Let me check. Nope, that's number 18 for us when it comes to the emails. Anything up here for me to blow up? There is. And I can get a Kid out of that. Those things are too big. But I can blow all these up and get myself two ether upgrade S's and another med kit. I'll take care of those eventually. I don't think I can even go down the line with the curry. Can I? Go the oh, I can. We'll stay here though. We don't need to go down there. We'll just move on some more. Just, well, I don't understand how the curry is staying so hot throughout all of this. This looks very familiar to me from Xeno years. That usually was a corridor that did not mean good things. But if we head through here, we can find more things to blow up, including 50 gold, hooray, and an ether upgrade. A, just a ton of ether upgrades. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wait, is there more here? I don't think there is now. Okay. So, I always want to double check, like they said. Do the roundabout thing. Now I can continue heading east. Nothing in that one. Even though, like, we're guests on this ship. But as soon as I get here, like, let's blow everything up. 150 gold. And another 200 gold. I'll take everything that I can. Finally... We can head this way, which does lead us to another room. I don't think there's that much more here, but there could be. I'm always thinking that there's going to be another cutscene after every door, but there usually isn't. What do you have to say about all this chaos? Were you able to talk with Cosmos? No, she seemed to be asleep. So I didn't want to bother her. I'll try again later. Oh, that's too bad. But she was quite beautiful, even asleep. Oh, thank you. Thank you. By the way, have you seen the commander? I saw the commander go into the maintenance lab. Just go up on the elevator on the left, in the hangar up ahead. Really, you're such a great help. Thanks. Uh, but I will actually take this opportunity to save. Oh, by the way, I hope you like Chaos's voice actor. I know I do. Surely nothing will happen to Chaos's voice actor. That save done. Can I do anything with this? The anti-intruder program cannot be activated at this time. So there's an anti-intruder program that I could activate, but I'm not going to do that at this time, apparently. Uh, let's head north out of here. Uh, because there's still some more stuff for us to, to find. Hooray. Here, we can blow up more stuff. And that does lead us to segment address number eight. 
but we're going to avoid that because I don't have the key. Nothing more to do here. Looks like there's something here, though. Looks like I could possibly go on either side. Also looks like there's a treasure chest there. Let's see if I can figure out how to get... Oh, that's probably the segment address chest. Uh, here we have the slide deck lock, and we're going to press the switch. This is the use of the, the disarm key that we had picked up back in the room that I had to search around to find. Let's blow this up and get ourselves some more money. Always useful. And we'll head down here. Yeah, I can't get that chest just yet. It is the gold chest or yellow chest, however you want to look at it. So it is the upgraded chest as opposed to the blue one, uh, which usually means the gold ones are usually in the segment addresses. Not always if I remember, but usually. Uh, we can blow up all this, though, and get ourselves a spirit pendant, so we don't need to buy the one in the shop. Money, biosphere, and decoder number 10. Now, if I remember right, we do actually have number 10 already found we do it is in the cosmos simulator but we don't really have access to that just yet although we do have the program to get back there we don't really have a place to use it as of now so let's continue on we're still exploring the ship still probably going to take a little bit but we will eventually turn in the curry to drink off i don't know how long on really held on to this, but well, how long she microwaved it, I, I don't know. Just some basic items here, nothing that great, but they're there. So let's grab them, and we'll just continue on around the other side. Uh, this, I think, just leads to stairs. It does lead to the stairs. So nothing doing there. Let's just continue on and around, and hopefully... We, well, we found a door. It's got to be useful for something. Hopefully we'll find something on the other side. I'm still, oh, whenever I see this just black screen, I'm always expecting it to load a cutscene, but that rarely happens. Uh, it's just the PlayStation 2. You know, it has to load. <laughs> if I blow these up, I don't think they give you anything. No. No, they don't. But I saw an arrow here. Is somebody here? It's a hammer! Yes. Hammer. I can't believe I missed that the first time. It didn't even occur to me because I'm like, yeah, that's hammer. Oh, yeah. He doesn't look anything like the other hammer, does he? Huh? What are you doing? Just looking for the commander. What happened to the pod we were in? Oh, you mean the escape pod? We cleared it out already. After all, maybe small, but military escape pods use cutting edge technology. They sell for quite a lot to the right people. I see. So you put the pod up for sale? Oh, shoot. I'm really sorry. Don't please pretend that you didn't hear that. It was all the captain's idea. Oh, it's completely all right. It's not like it belonged to me, and I'm sure to the military it's just another piece of equipment. So they sold the pod uh, that we got here on. Cosmos, of course, brought her equipment with her. I don't know how she got it off the Will Glende, but that's what she did. Ah, another segment address door, number 14. Do we have it? No, we don't have it. Yeah, only number 11. Oh, fiber suit there. I'll take it. More money. Always useful. I head all the way up here. Uh, oh, this, there's got to be a button here that I can press. Press the button. They won't let me press the button. I could see it, too. It's there, but they won't let me press it for whatever reason. Probably because this will open up the, the rear hatch, and that's probably not a good idea. So we are done here in this giant storage room. Why Hammer is here, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they just sold it and they had to teleport the escape pod. I don't know. They don't really go over how that kind of happened. They don't go over a lot of things that just don't make logistical sense to me. Just like the, the items in the EVS. How do you get those out? Do, they, do you find the plans for it? But if you... If you didn't go to a certain area, how would it then find a... Sp I don't know. Like, if, if you were in an, an area and it had recorded everything that you had seen there, 
how did it know what was behind the door and in the treasure chest for you to find and then be able to replicate that so that you could have one in real life? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not thinking technologically advanced enough, but they didn't say that they had like some sort of x-ray vision or replicator or anything like that. So we'll just move on. It was a kind of a journey back, uh, but we are going to use this lift here. And it looks like there's a couple of people that we need to talk to. How you doing, buddy? Okay, you have a problem with capitalization. Sure, hello! I am in charge of maintaining this ship. Is there anything you need? I will say anything on this ship for cheap. I'd appreciate your patronage so the captain can repay his debts. I have no idea how to talk like that. Uh, he sells eggs equipment. Um, you might be able to find upgrades here. It, it looks like the 34VX is an upgrade. I don't know, I have not spent much time with the eggs at all. Um, so I probably won't be purchasing anything here. And if I do, I'll let you know off screen, you know, because I'll do it off screen, I'll let you know when I come back. Uh, he sells cards as well. Uh, but, you yeah, know, accessories, weapons, and then for everything else, you need to go to tuning, just like in Xenogears here, you can buy the frame and the generator. Uh, there was something else that you could buy in Xenogears that you don't purchase here through tuning. I'm trying to remember. There was the frame, there was the engine. I don't remember what the other one was, but you only have to buy those the two things here. Uh, this is the VX10,000. This is Xion's eggs, and as you can see, it's the only one that we have access to, and the only one that they have something for. I'll probably purchase these uh, off screen uh, once I judge how much money I have. You can also restore frame HP. If you, as you saw, this is a huge upgrade, almost double across the board, over double in terms of HP, uh, but not quite double when it comes to P-Arm, which I believe is physical defense. And then generator will up uh, the power for the physical attacks. I'll probably purchase those, but anything else I'll probably avoid. Yes, my next visit indeed. So what we need to do is go around the outside here, blowing stuff up along our way to get more ether upgrades. I will deal with those eventually when I find, oh, there's a red one here. Huh. Don't have access to that one, I don't think. I think I only have access to the one on this side, which is pretty in pink. and starts with VX. Moving on. <laughs> I'm the hardest worker on this ship. I even installed the locks in the slide deck. But when I was cleaning one of the cannons, I lost the disarm key. Oh boy, oh no. It should be easy to find. All you need to do is mash the circle button. And it's such a pain because the cabin's huge. So that's how you're supposed to know how to find the disarm key. It is not just randomly there. Uh, they do let you know that it is in one of the cabin rooms. And that's how you're supposed to know. But... Uh, I hate when they make, make you mash X in order to find something. I hate when they do that. I don't think these hold anything. They do not. Uh, but here, you can find little expedition vehicles uh, that you could use for small projects, mostly probably repairing the ship first and foremost. Uh, but if you head all the way down here, we can get a coat beam. That will protect against the beam attacks, obviously. I haven't seen one of those since we gave, I believe, the lightning coat to Cosmos. And that is finally it for exploring the Elsa. Well, except for the bridge, but we'll get to the bridge eventually.